What's up guys, in this video what I want to do is show you how to use the Pythagorean theorem to find the distance between any two points. Because I think you can probably agree, if you've already been introduced to the distance formula, sometimes it can look a little overwhelming. But if you look at the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, that's pretty easy to remember. And if you notice that we're dealing with these two points, one thing also you should feel comfortable with at this stage is to be able to plot the points. So if you're given two points, you want to find the distance, you're not sure about the distance formula, just plot the points and use the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so you can see that that didn't take me too long. Like, obviously I sped up my writing a little bit, but even if I was taking a test or doing my homework, like that did not take up a whole bunch of time. And I always recommend students, if you ever get stuck or you ever feel lost, but you're given coordinate points, sometimes plot them, right? It's like drawing the picture when you're doing a word problem. Like sometimes you need that visual aspect to be able to understand what it is you're trying to do. And in this problem, what we're trying to do is find the distance between these two points and unfortunately, that distance is going to be a diagonal. I know I can find the distance horizontally, right? Because I have this horizontal number line, which we call the x-axis. So I can literally just count the number of tick marks across this line that is going to represent the horizontal distance between these two points. I also have a vertical number line, right? Which we call the y-axis. And so therefore, between these two points, I can also be able to identify what we call our horizontal distance between the two points. All right, now obviously this is where the distance formula comes from, but again, I don't wanna like overcomplicate things right now. I don't wanna be worrying about the difference and like all that kind of stuff. I just wanna say like, hey, how far is it from here to here? Now again, you could count these one by one if you want to, or you could say, you know, this from here to here is negative six. So that has a total distance of six, right? An absolute distance of six. And this one is from zero to seven. So that has an absolute distance of seven. Six plus seven is going to be a 13. So I'm just gonna put that. And then over here, we're at negative two and we went down to negative eight, right? So how far did we travel from negative two to eight? One, two, three, four, five, six. If you're gonna look at things like in a technical form, when we're doing the distance formula, sometimes we do get a negative distance. But again, that's because we're dealing with distance and direction. And guess what the distance formula, as well as the Pythagorean theorem, it counteracts that, right? You're gonna be squaring those values. So therefore, we're always gonna get that positive distance. We're not gonna be worrying about the direction in this case. So you can see we have a right triangle, we have two legs, right? And all we're trying to find now is our hypotenuse, which is going to be our C. So in this case, we have a 13, so I'm just gonna write that, a 13 squared plus a six squared, it's gonna equal to a C squared. Now, a lot of times students will drop the C squared, so be careful with that, because again, that is a C squared. So 13 squared is a 169, six squared is going to be a 36. Okay, now again, the last step is this is not your answer. A lot of times if you're taking a test or it's a multiple choice, that's gonna show up. You have to be very careful to make sure you take the square root at the end, so therefore the distance between these two points by using the Pythagorean theorem is going to equal to the square root of 205. 